Ordinary household objects aren't the most interesting things in life. However, some of the most innocuous ones have some amazing practical uses you'd never have thought of. Here's some seriously wacky uses for random objects you'll have lying around the house. Amazing. Number 10. Ensel Torch Here's a really useful, cool, and unexpected use for a very common household object, a pencil. You can use a pencil lead to generate a bright light using a powerful battery, like a car battery. So if you break down in the dark and you have no light, you can use this technique to have a look at your car's engine. You simply strip the pencil so you have just the raw lead and then split that into four parts, each containing three to five minutes of light. Using a wire, like speaker wires from your car, attach the lead to the terminals of your car battery and tie them to the lead, one at each end. The lead will begin to glow brightly as it acts as a filament. Graphite is a poor conductor, so its resistance to the current causes it to light up. It's exactly the same principle that produces light in the metal filament of a light bulb. The thinner the diameter, the more resistance, and the faster it will heat and the brighter it will light up. More batteries would also increase the brightness as more electricity would flow through the lead. It goes without saying, try this only if you know what you're doing. Playing with electricity and extremely hot graphite is dangerous. Number 9. Exploding Bottle Mixing certain things within a bottle can easily produce enough pressure for an explosion. Of course, you're essentially making a bomb when doing this, so I certainly don't recommend actually trying it. Seriously, do not try this. The first method is to use bathroom cleaners containing hydrochloric acid along with aluminum foil. The most common cleaner used is the works, hence why this is often called a works bomb. Mix the cleaners with aluminum foil inside a bottle and give it a good shake to begin the countdown. Aluminum foil is coated in wax and the acid from the toilet cleaner strips this first before reacting with the foil to create aluminum chloride and hydrogen gas. This expands the bottle very quickly, eventually causing it to explode with some serious force. It can blow your fingers off or blind you. It's serious stuff and making any sort of bomb containing caustic substances is illegal in most countries. You could also just try the old Coke Mentos trick, but another better version of this exists which you can try at home. It's done by mixing baking soda with vinegar, which are both harmless. This creates carbon dioxide, which forms bubbles, forcing foam out of the rim of a bottle in a glorious fountain. If you seal the bottle, you make what could be considered a bomb, which is dangerous. But if you seal a smaller container with a looser seal, like an old camera film case, then you can make a harmless grenade, which pops up when you throw it. Just watch out for your eyes. Number eight, harness plasma ball electricity. Plasma balls are pretty rad. They're based on the Tesla coil and use noble gases like neon to discharge a high frequency alternating voltage to an insulated glass exterior. The arcs of plasma are stunning and plasma balls actually have an array of other quirky uses. You can power a fluorescent tube placed near one without actually hooking it up to anything, for example. Another exciting hidden use of a plasma ball is achieved by using a penny as a conductor placed on the outside of the plasma ball. It fills with electrons which are passed through the glass by the plasma ball. So you're essentially harnessing electricity from the plasma ball. Once there's sufficient electrons, they'll jump to something you place near the penny and discharge. If you place a piece of paper over the coin, then the electrons will burn through it and there will be a visible spark. The coin is acting as a capacitor by storing electrons in an electric field which can be discharged. Number seven, grow soap in a microwave. Soap comes in many shapes and sizes with so many brands extending over decades since the modern bar form was created in the 1870s. Of all the different types of soap available, only a few float in water, including bars produced by the brand Ivory. Why does a solid object like soap float in water? It must be less dense than the water itself to do so. You can find out how it achieves this low density by putting it in a microwave and heating it for a short time. If you heat Ivory soap for a few minutes, then the air pockets inside expand dramatically, expanding the soap to a much larger size, making it almost look like a souffle. Most other soaps simply melt. If you break open the bar though, you can't see any obvious air pockets like you can in an Aero chocolate bar. This is because the air bubbles are whipped into the mixture during its manufacture. This was discovered by accident and was found to be a favorable quality and thus Ivory coined the slogan, the soap that floats. Number six, playing card throwing knives. We all have a pack of playing cards around the house. There's a slightly more dangerous game you can play with them than card games though. Playing cards can actually be wielded as ninja stars or throwing knives and can be propelled at speeds of 100 miles per hour plus by skilled individuals. This is easily fast enough to penetrate fruits, cut bananas in half, or cut paper. 
so it can cut skin or even take out an eye. It goes without saying, don't throw cards towards people. Taking this to the next level, credit cards are much stronger and thus make for an even more powerful version. They can easily penetrate soda cans. Deadly. Number 5. Toothpick Center of Gravity Trick A cool party trick. This exploits a kitchen utensil's center of gravity to balance it seamlessly and possibly on the edge of a glass using just a toothpick. Push two forks together with their prong ends and place a toothpick between each. Then place the structure on the rim of a glass before adjusting it until it's balanced. You can then actually burn away the excess toothpick to leave the structure unaltered and still held in perfect balance. Remember those balancing bird toys you could balance on the tip of your finger? The same principle applies here. Number 4. Smoke Waterfalls You can easily create smoky waterfalls using just household items, and they sure look beautiful, almost ethereal in form. Smoke usually floats straight up, but when it's allowed to cool before being exposed to the open air, it sinks due to its increased density versus the air. By rolling up sticky notes or post-it notes and tilting them at an angle, we can force smoke down the tube whilst giving it a chance to cool down sufficiently to continue its downwards descent. By lighting the end of the tube, you initiate the smoky descent and by the time the smoke exits the tube, it's cool enough to float downwards instead of up. Not magic, just smoke and mirrors. Number 3. Milkstone and Sawdust Body Armor Milk can be used to create a hard stone-like substance in just a few easy steps. This substance, commonly known as milkstone, is actually a plastic. Milk contains molecules of a protein called casein. This can be extracted and molded, and when it dries, it forms a real plastic. Milkstone has actually been used throughout history to make ornaments, buttons, and jewelry. Milkstone jewelry was even created for Queen Mary of England. You just need hot milk and vinegar. Mix the two and stir until solid clumpy chunks appear. These chunks are the casein. Once you've got a chunky mixture, drain away the liquid and then shape the chunks whilst drying them between pieces of kitchen towels. When it completely dries over two days, you'll be left with a hard, rock-like substance that is hard to break by hand. Milk isn't the only household substance that creates solid structures. Pycrete is a bizarre composite material that people discovered around World War II and is created from sawdust and water, which is then frozen solid. It's incredibly strong and can absorb the shock of a bullet easily. It also takes a long time to melt, so it can be used to build long-lasting structures in cold environments, like this dome in Eindhoven. In fact, people even thought you could build aircraft carriers out of pycrete in the 1940s. Number 2. Use a lemon as a battery Using lemons to power small lights or LEDs is a well-known science experiment that you can try at home. Lemons are pretty strong fruits. That's obvious when you taste them. They're very acidic and very sour. This flavor is caused by citric acid, which is found in all citrus fruits, but is found in a higher concentration in lemons. We can use a lemon as a battery by inserting two metals, like a copper coin and a zinc nail into the fruit, and attaching wires to each terminal with a light between them. The light will light up as electricity begins to flow from the lemon. This happens because a lemon contains electrolytes, which can carry electricity. It's the same process as that in a normal battery, as you are converting chemical energy into an electrical current. It's called a redox reaction, where one metal gets reduced and gains electrons, and one gets oxidized and loses electrons. This creates a flow of electrons through the lemon, resulting in an electrical charge that can be drawn through a wire. One lemon can light a small bulb as it produces around one volt, but using many more could potentially power an array of electronic items. So, if life gives you lemons, use them as batteries. Before I reveal the most outrageous example in this list, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Be Amazed. We upload amazing fact-filled videos every day, so don't miss out on learning some amazing new information. Also, hit that bell icon for notifications on more amazing fact-filled videos. Number 1. Orange Peel Flamethrower The wonders of citrus fruits extend far beyond their tastiness and healthy characteristics, and even beyond their ability to create electricity. Here. Orange peels can actually be used to create a small flamethrower. Okay, it's not exactly a huge jet of flames, and is actually a rather small and harmless puff of flame. So it's something you can try at home if you're careful. It's simple too. You simply cut a small slice of orange and heat it gently with a lighter or candle flame for about a minute. This expands small pockets of air and oils within the peel. Once adequately heated, pinch the peel next to the lighter and observe a small explosion as a jet of flame bursts from the peel. The high-pressure compartments of air and oils combust in the flame, creating a small flamethrower. 
It's ideal for cocktails as it's a cool trick for entertainment and releases flavor into any drink that requires orange essence. When life gives you oranges, create flamethrowers. Which trick did you think was the most awesome? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching.